All right, it's D-Day. I got the car jacked up so that I can get a uh, well, drain pan underneath there for draining the coolant. Today I am placing in the uh, ported supercharger with a smaller pulley. I've already done the supporting mods. Uh, I've got the uh, ZZP 1.0 PCM under the airbox there where it belongs. I've got the Autolite 104 spark plugs. And of course you wanna use Never Seize on those. And the purpose of the 104 plugs is that they run cooler. They have a shorter electrode. Um, if you're curious about what that means, these are the platinum plugs that were in the car, which were nice plugs. But that ceramic piece in there, where the, uh, the center piece comes out that makes the spark, that is shorter. I measured it actually, uh, comparing this one with the Autolite 104s. I've got Ultimate Gray, uh, it's just in case, steel stick, uh, and then the Ultimate Black. And the Ultimate Black is going to be used for placing in the uh, corners here of the aluminum. Uh, when I take the lower intake manifold off, I gotta seal that up with some RTV. Uh, these are the second generation, second style, uh, aluminum lower intake manifold gaskets. Definitely an improvement over the stock plastic ones, which always tend to break right here. And that's when you get oil and cooling in your engine. Uh, go over the supercharger. Sorry about twisting the phone here. Uh, I have a 3.5 inch pulley here, and here is the stock 3.8. And you can see the size difference. Maybe you can see the size difference. It's considerably smaller. Now, 3.5 is possible to use with the stock everything. And I went, I decided to play it safe. I don't plan on doing another pulley swap. This is mainly, this is my first time doing anything with a supercharger, so I wanted to play it safe. But it's a 3.5. Uh, along with the cooler 180 degree thermostat, which is going in today, the uh, Autolite 104 and the 1.0 PCM, uh, it will not have any issues whatsoever. Uh, the only thing I have left to do to the car is the exhaust, and I'm waiting for ZZP to get their uh, front power log and the three inch downpipe back in stock. Uh, if that doesn't work, then I'm just going to go with a full header setup for 200 bucks. a friend of mine had told me about. Uh, for the coolant, I went ahead and got one bottle of concentrate and then one bottle of 50-50. I have already put the flush cleaner through there because I want to, before I pull everything apart, I want to make sure that I've cleaned out the uh, heater core and the radiator and the block. Uh, for the oil, I got high mileage, uh, synthetic blend, 530. And uh, yes, it's a Fram uh, filter. I also just finished up the motor flush um, and the jug of oil that's there behind it is the flush oil. So it's, uh, it's good oil that I'm gonna use to rinse out the, uh, the valley when I pull the lower intake manifold off because there's always coolant that gets spilled into the engine. You wanna rinse that out. Um, and since I've done the motor flush, uh, I'll be changing the oil uh, which is right there. I also got TriFlow, uh, which is going to be used to clean off the injectors and make sure that the uh, O-rings are in good shape. Now, I did not buy O-rings yet. If I need to, I will go get some O-rings today for the injectors, but uh, this lower intake manifold has already been off once, so I'm taking a chance that they have already changed the O-rings um, or they're in decent shape. So with the 3.5 pulley, uh, you have to be careful with the belt size. But since I am adding a quarter inch uh, phenolic spacer, you can see that right there. I am actually pretty much right where I started as far as the distance from the pulley system. So I don't need to go with a smaller uh, belt. But if you don't do a spacer or an intercooler, well, if you, if you do an intercooler, you're gonna need a bigger belt. Um, this is the 72 millimeter ZZP uh, throttle body. It's been ported and polished. Uh, 
the supercharger has been ported and polished, as well as the lower intake manifold, which I opened up the uh, opening, the intake uh, opening where the supercharger mounts to match the supercharger. So uh, this should make it more efficient, more efficient like a Generation 5 uh, Eaton M90. At least that's what the rumors are. This has been rebuilt, new bearings, new, new uh, coupler inside. Uh, the gears look good, everything looks good. It's got new supercharger oil, it's a must. Uh, anytime you get a chance, um, if you don't know the history of the car, change the supercharger oil, but you have to use supercharger oil. Uh, don't use regular oil, it's not designed for it. Uh, yes, and I painted the supercharger and the lower intake manifold, but that's just me. Um, I'm a little bit about style as well as function. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this started and I will document the process as I go along. Uh, there's a million videos out there showing you how to remove the components on the top of the engine, showing you to move, remove the fuel rail. And of course, I wanna take the spark plugs, uh, wires off of the top and um, remove the belt and um, any of the other things that are in the way, the sensors, the map sensor, your, Anything that's connected to the top of the engine that's in the way needs to be removed. So I don't need to go over that with you in this video. Um, I did replace the spark plug wires with uh, Belden Premium 8mm. Uh, nice set of wires when I replaced the plug since I had to take these dog bones out and then I had to rock the engine forward to get to the rear spark plugs. I figured I'd get that taken care of before I did this swap. Uh, I did notice one thing with the Autolite 104 spark plugs. Running these platinum plugs, I was getting about 20, 24 to 27 miles per gallon, an average of 24 miles per gallon. When I put the auto lights in, it dropped down to about 20 miles per gallon. And I, I'm not sure if that's a coincidence, but just something to be aware of. People complain about their gas mileage dropping when they do certain uh, mods. Uh, this one was definitely a definitive drop in fuel economy which I don't care. This is not, this, this car is a project and a toy for me. And I do plan on taking it to the track just so I can get a time slip. Um, and this should be today a bolt on 40 horsepower, uh, maybe more, don't know. And this car comes stock with 240 horsepower. So you do the math. Um, and these modifications actually have been proven to make this a 12 second car really close maybe a little over 12 second car at the trip at the strip. So I may come up with a uh, ticket with the, not a, not a, not a police ticket, but uh, showing that uh, time slip. That's what I meant to say at the drag strip just for fun so that I can see if my work was uh, successful. So the next, next mod, you can see it has a stock exhaust manifold and the stock down pipe, which is going to be replaced here. Uh, this that's the last mod that I need to do to this car to make it 100% efficient. So we'll see you here in a bit.